And tonight, more seniors are going to the hospital after using marijuana. Fox 35's Jennifer Williams explains why. They think they know from the 60s and 70s, I know how to do marijuana. The number of senior citizens visiting the emergency room because of marijuana use has soared in the past few years. Dr. Harry Streetner is an addiction expert, and he says boomers may simply be unaware of just how potent pot is in 2023. Particularly since the presence of gummies, edibles, mm -hmm. because you don't know how long it's going to take for an edible to affect you. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, marijuana currently cultivated and sold contains three times more THC compared to levels 25 years ago. Straightener adds individuals over the age of 60 are also more likely to be on medication for high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. We haven't done enough research to know what the synergistic, the combined effects of uh, marijuana are with THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, with other Medications. A new study by the University of California, San Diego, revealed cannabis-related ER visits have skyrocketed a whopping 1,800% among Californians over the age of 65 and up from 2005 to 2019. Dr. Nicholas Hernandez has noticed the surge. A lot of uh, baby boomers are ending up in the hospital with cyclical vomiting syndrome. They're just na nauseous, vomiting. They go into renal failure because they become dehydrated. We have to give them fluids. It could be considered an overdose. You know, with marijuana, marijuana theoretically is very helpful to cancer patients. Both experts say other side effects can include dizziness, balance issues, disorientation, extreme paranoia, anxiety, and even early signs signs of dementia. It's basically mostly metabolized by the liver, some excreted by the kidneys, but the liver can last up to 72 hours before it can completely leave your system. So in an elder person that may have a little bit more slower process, it could be six days for them as opposed to three days. Jennifer Williams, Fox News.